Whoa, let's freeze it right there. Maybe I overreacted. I forgot my principles. Only I can allow myself to become angry. A better approach would be to research about local area networks. Then I could have asked this. Dad, what do you think is affecting the quality and reliability of our wireless network, and how can we fix it? Well, I'd say one of the big reasons is we have so many devices that are continuously using the wireless network. For example, we have six security cameras, four remote control outlets, and two light switches. We also have a tablet, three iPhones, a TV, computer, and a home theater. All these are fighting over bandwidth on that wireless network. Whenever we're streaming video, it can get bogged down and then it has to buffer. Now, our current network, we have one wireless network that actually is wired to a second wireless network so we can get coverage throughout the whole house. That second network is hardwired to an Xbox and a Blu-ray player, which works very well. What we could do to fix this problem is take a lot of the load off of the wireless network and hardwire it with switches. What switches do, they allow traffic to go through one wire to multiple devices. Switches are much faster when you hardwire things than using wireless, up to 1000 megabits per second or 1 gigabit speeds. This would be more than enough than we will ever need because it doesn't even come in that fast from the internet provider. The trick is getting the wire to the back of the house. You don't just want to have a wire laying around in the floor, you want it hidden, hidden in the walls. So today we're going to learn how to run a network cable hidden in the walls. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Come on over here. So what we're going to do is run another couple cables, ethernet cables, down here to a switch at the router. That way we'll have a wired uh, ethernet cables going <laughs> to the home theater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to drill a hole in the top plate of the wall. I'm going to put this fish tape down. See this? I'm going to... No, that's fish tape. Nope, nope, not a tape. Nope, nope, it's not a tape. Not a, it's not a tape. It's a whipping mat. Okay, so I'm going to fish this down through. I'm going to have radios, and you will watch it here until you see this come down, at which you will take your ball of twine here. Yes, that one, and you'll tie it to it. I'll pull the tape back up through the wall, tie my cables to it, you'll pull them down, and that is how you fish a wire. I'm gonna need light. You're also going to need an explosive to blow that door open. I'll just climb the ladder and push it open. It's my secret back in. Oh. Okay. Walnut the peanut, come back. And there's a light switch up here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> okay. Here's our new cable. We have already pulled it into the other room. And all the excess is just laying up here. This is the original cable, so I know where I'm about to drill. Okay, I'm in position. Get this out of the way for now. All right, here we are. And okay, that's our original hole. We're gonna give us a nice new big one right beside it. Okay, I'm about to stick the fish tape in the hole. <laughs> tie a good knot right there. Uh, no. Just like you would use this. Loop it. Yeah, tie it to twice through. I think we gotta do a video on knots. Okay. Now I'm gonna reel it in. Okay, begin slowly pulling the string. You will see two blue cords tied to the string. There we go. Dad, this seems like a lot of work just to be able to turn a light on with a cell phone. Yeah, but it's worth it to be able to mess with the cat while we're on vacation. All that remains is filling the hole I drilled with fire barrier sealing. 
This prevents smoke and flames from spreading in the event of a fire. It's required by most county building codes. After I applied the sealant with a caulk gun, I then fluffed up the insulation to restore its insulating value. Looks like we have more tools for the toolbox of awesomeness. Yep, all of these tools are best for gifts after your child gets their first home, with the exception of a cordless drill. As for the cable, you'll want a Cat6 cable as it is future proof, allowing up to 10 gig data rates. Thanks for teaching me this, Walnut. Three. <laughs> <laughs> There's our blooper. <laughs>